So if you're someone who's still looking for a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X, but it's been really difficult to find them because resellers and scalpers keep buying them up whenever they become available online and then they put them on eBay for like two to three times the amount, I think I might actually have some good news for you as it looks like in the secondary market for the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, prices are actually starting to trend downwards, which means you could see scalpers, resellers, all of them, start to lose interest in these systems and maybe move on to other things that they can resell for two to three times the amount they're buying them on and make more money that way. And a lot of this has to do with the overall holiday pressure being taken off now as we're past Christmas. Guys, enjoy these videos. Make sure that like button helps out a ton. And if you're new here to the Spawn Wave Plus channel, make sure you subscribe down below. So let's head on over to eBay here. And I went all the way back to a time that I feel like people would still be buying these systems and expect to get it in time for Christmas. And it's kind of reflected in some of the pricing because I had to go back like a hundred something pages, a lot of PS5 sell every single day on eBay, obviously more than it sells for in different stores like Target or Best Buy or whatnot. The trending price uh, at the time on December 18th was about a thousand dollars according to ebay they have like a little trending thing that'll pop up next to different prices at times in the sold listings like these and it'll be like oh trending price is 99.99 right uh well it looks like it was still selling for around that or even above that at this time on the 18th and that is a reasonable time you would say okay I uh, give it four to five days. Maybe they can ship it to me priority a two to three day shipping time and I can get it for Christmas. But anytime after the 18th, I noticed the prices started to fall unless any of the sellers put overnight shipping in time for Christmas. Basically, if you put in your title that the person could have it by Christmas time, the price was reflected and being above $1,000. Like there are some here that are still over $1,200 like this one run up by 47 bids. Uh, here's one for a thousand next day air shipping, uh, 1100. This is actually a bundle though with a dual sense controller. It looks like it also has a subscription card for PlayStation online. And then we have uh, Spider-Man there. But for the most part, a lot of these were still kind of on that cusp of, I don't know if I'm going to get it in time for Christmas. If you go back even further than this, as we know, like two to three weeks ago, these were easily anywhere between $1,100 and $1,300. Before that, when the PS5 first came out, we know it was like almost $1,500 for a PlayStation 5. And now we go to the 29th today and we can see some of these PlayStation 5 systems are struggling to get about the trending amount, which currently, according to eBay, is about $930. And we're seeing a lot of these have a hard time just getting to $900. Here's 800 with like $85 shipping with one bid. But you go below that, here's one $820 free shipping. Here's 849, basically 900 there with a trending price of 925, 936 free shipping. Here's the digital PlayStation 5. You don't see those very often anymore at a 760 or so there. Um, but I mean, like a lot of these have fallen in price pretty heavily from what we were talking about just a few weeks ago, where it was hard to find a PS5 for less than $1,000. I've also noticed that the ones that seem to keep their value are the ones that promise that they'll get it to you very, very fast. Like here's one with free overnight shipping for $1,000. And I know overnight shipping is more expensive than like free shipping or putting it in one of those like priority mail boxes that you can just fit it into with the PS5 itself because it's a big system. So yeah, getting that to someone overnight isn't going to be very cheap. But for the most part, I'm telling you, it looks like we are seeing the trend of the PS5 fall even below $800 here, $798.88 with the trending price at $925. Yeah, like here's even the digital one at $724.99. I know that's cheaper anyway, but just overall, I've noticed that after Christmas happened, some of that holiday pressure appears to have been taken off people who are probably spending more money than they should just so they could have it under the tree. So let's take this PlayStation 5 here as an example. It's $798.88. And if you look at this with free shipping, I mean, shipping for a system like the PS5, which is pretty big and you know, fairly heavy for a system overall, I mean, it might cost you 20 to 30 bucks at least to ship the thing. And then on top of that, there's eBay fees, could be PayPal fees, depending on how it's processed uh, or credit card fees, any of that. So you could just have like 10% almost, depending on the standing for the account for eBay, because they do have a bit of a sliding scale when it comes to percentages. But that with PayPal on top, yeah, you could see 8 to 10%. And then like 20 to $30 to ship the thing. 
Honestly, out of this, they might be walking away with 700 and they had to also buy the system for 500 And you can kind of see how that profit margin, I mean, about $200 there, it's starting to shrink down quite a bit from what we were talking about before, where they were making millions and millions of dollars because these systems were going for like 11 or $1,200 a pop. Oh, also, if you're looking for an Xbox Series X, don't even bother buying one on eBay right now. Like the prices are dropping as it is, but I'm starting to see more and more of these get in stock at different targets and Walmarts. And I'm hearing about people just finding them actually in the stores even, which is interesting. But yeah, the, the prices for the Series X, I think it's actually going to normalize faster than we thought, possibly midway to even the end of January. So like in a month or less, the Series X might just be $500 online like everywhere and could even be a bit more available than people were expecting initially. But let me know what you guys think about this one down below with the PS5 and the Xbox Series X secondary market starting to trend downwards now and maybe seeing scalpers, resellers start to lose interest and move on to the next thing, which means that they would be leaving the systems at retail for people who actually want to buy them to, you know, play the systems. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.